Hey everyone, hope we are doing bright and well. Welcome to class. Today I'm going to be leading you through a full body complete beginner flow using a pair of yoga blocks. So expect lots of modifications and throughout practice, you choose how high or low you would like to be on your blocks, totally up to you. Just a little advice that when you choose to be high on the block, it does get a little more difficult to balance in a few postures, especially if you place your entire weight on it. So please be safe, engage the whole body and distribute your weight well. Alright, let's come to the edge of the mat and begin to roll out the neck in each direction, taking two or three rounds to one side and then switching to the other. Inhale as the head rotates backwards and exhale as it drops forward. Keeping that breathing pattern in mind, continue on your own. And now begin to rotate the wrists while pedaling the feet simultaneously. Linking breath with movement. Now begin to rotate the shoulders backwards. And then forward. Perfect. Now grab your blocks, placing them near the outer edge of each foot, either high or low. Reminder that the height is your choice. Inhale, come into a back extension and exhale as you fold forward, place the palms on the blocks. Continue just like this for a few more rounds. If you find it difficult to straighten the knees during the forward fold, increase the height of the block. If that doesn't help either, no problem, this isn't a flexibility test. Just keep moving, you probably need a little more warming up. And let's end finally in a full forward fold. Take the right leg back for a low lunge, grab a block between the palms like this. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Push the hips a little forward, choose to look up or forward and hold here. Awesome. Palms on the blocks, choose your height, tuck the right toes lifting off the knee and hold here for a few breaths. Now bring the left block inside the left foot, scoot the left foot a little out, lizard lunge. Now if this is easy for you, go ahead and place the forearms on the broader side of the blocks and stay here for 5 breaths. Perfect. Next up, high lunge twist. So your right palm goes on the block and your left palm goes up to the sky. Hold here for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Come back into the center, place both palms on the blocks, left leg between the hands and begin to sit back towards the right foot but not completely. Straighten out the left knee for a little hamstring stretch and hold here. Perfect. Come back into a lunge, left palm on the block, right foot rotated out to the side, hand up, right hand up to the sky for a side angle. Hold for five, four, three, two and one. Now stay exactly in this position and just begin to straighten out the left knee, gaze up to the right hand triangle pose. You can come higher on the block if you feel like here. See that both knees are straightened out. Perfect. 
perfect. Release and come into warrior 2. Stay here for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Release. Awesome. Let's repeat all of that on the right side now. Take your blocks to the right and start with a low lunge. Grab a block between the palms. Inhale, hands up to the sky, hips pushed a little forward and hold here for five breaths, so count. Palms on the block, choose your height, tuck the left toes, lifting off the knee and stay here for five, four, three, Two and one. All right. Bring the right block inside the right foot. Scoot the right foot out a little and lizard lunge. Go ahead and take that forearm variation that we did earlier if you like or just stay here for five counts or five breaths. Perfect. Next up, high lunge twist, left palm on the block and right hand up to the sky. Hold here for five, four, three, two and one. Come back into the center, place both palms on the blocks, your right leg is in between and begin to sit back towards the left foot but not completely on it. Straighten the right knee and hold here for five breaths. Perfect. Come back to a lunge, right palm on the block, left foot rotated out to the side, left hand up to the sky for a side angle. Hold for five, four, three, two and one. Perfect. Stay exactly in this position and just begin to straighten out the right knee, gaze up to the left hand, triangle pose, Trikonasana. Release and come into warrior two. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Adjust yourself. Take the right leg back near the left foot. Adjust the blocks to shoulder width distance. Come into a downward facing dog with palms on the blocks. Either pedal the feet here or stay static. Choice is yours. Now on an inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Continue for 10 rounds, linking breath with movement on your own. If you find your palm slipping from the blocks in downward facing dog, hold the block instead of just placing the palm on it. Engage the entire core, pull the belly button towards the spine and stay strong on the hands. And once you are done, end on an exhale in downward facing dog. Gently place the knees down into a tabletop position. You don't need the blocks for this one. Let's move through a few cat and cow stretches. Inhale, arched back, gaze up to the ceiling. Exhale, hunch the back and gaze at the belly button. Do a few more rounds on your own here. Perfect. And now take a wider distance between the feet and thighs. Place a block in between the legs 
and sitting on the block in a wide child's pose. Stay here. Lengthen out the hands. Inhale. Notice your chest expanding laterally and on an exhale, feel it collapse. Gently lift the torso up and sit down in Vajrasana. Close the eyes, connect with the breath and notice how the legs feel stretched in this position. Breathe through the discomfort, relaxing on every exhale. Gently open the eyes, take another block and place it on the first block. Push both blocks far behind. Tuck the toes and sit yourself into Malasana. Holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep using your elbows to push your knees out. 2, and release. Now releasing the hands, take the legs wider and just check if you can drop the right knee towards the floor on an exhale. Inhale transition, exhale left knee down. Let's do a few more of these hip mobility testing movements, trying not to fall off the blocks here. Now if this isn't what your body wants to do today, take it easy. And just stay in Malasana, getting that extra stretch and release. Awesome. Release and now first pull your blocks forward from under you and sit down. I tried to make this look as graceful as I could. Anyway. Stretch the legs out, place a block vertically in between the feet and horizontally under the knees. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold forward, coming into a seated full forward fold. Stay here for five breaths. Now sit up, fold the legs to a butterfly position, feet facing each other, place the blocks at the side of the knees, resting the legs on it, sit upright and hold. While holding the feet in your palms. See that you aren't hunching, sit upright. Spine is completely elongated and release. Shake the legs. Now bend the right knee towards the chest. Place the foot out of the left knee. Block goes behind while you wrap the left arm around the right knee and pull it into your chest while twisting to the right. Sit straight, avoid leaning back. That's exactly why we have a block under the right palm. Perfect release and let's repeat that on the other side, twisting and sitting upright. Perfect release. Now place the legs on a block in between, place a block in between the feet and knees. 
squeeze while tilting the body backwards into a modified boat pose. Now your feet stay down. Just stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one release. Now move the blocks to a reachable distance, lie down on your back, bend the knees, place a block under the lower back and stay here. If this feels easy for you, go ahead, lift up the lower back and find space for block number two and stay here. Place the hands wherever you like, either on the belly or on the side and breathe. Gently remove each block. Sit up. Place one block flat and the other like this. Now adjust yourself in a way where your upper back is on the high block and your head on the lower block, looking close to a fish pose. Stay here. Choose to stretch the hands out, open them out or just place them on the side. This posture is not very comfortable for a lot of us, especially if you have a long neck. So take it slow and go as far as you can. If this is not your posture, please go ahead and avoid it. Alright. Now when you release, first see that you place all your weight in your elbows and then gently lift off the head and torso to sit up. Now lie down completely, pull the left leg into the chest and drop it on a block to the right side. Supine twist. Release and repeat the same on the right side as well. Awesome. Release and let's come into an overall body stretch. And then fold the knees, feet facing each other, reclined butterfly. Place two blocks under the knees vertically here and relax here for as long as you like. We have come to an end of class today. I hope you enjoyed practicing with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and hit the like button if this class felt good. I'll see you soon. Namaste.